you don't eat in the lab, you don't drink in the lab. Then if you want to use any equipment in the lab, you must take permission. So you don't no horseplay and you must make sure that you don't smoke in the lab. Yes, no smoking because some chemicals might be ignited by flame. So you don't smoke in the lab and no horseplay. So if you have a friend that used to play, just bury the play now. After the lab, you can see the outside the school. So and then if you are right if you are drawing in biology lab. You are not to be shading. If there's anything that is dark, maybe you can put it in dust. You don't shade. You don't do artistic drawing. And then when you want to draw, you just free hand drawing. You just draw it. And that's all. If you are having double line, you will lose mark. So, those are drawing in lab. So, you must wrap your pencil very well. I will use a HB pencil. Not to be pencil. That HB is more like this. Is it yellow color? Yeah. 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 But not that black color. That's to be. That one is used by artists. We don't use that because the lead used in that one is too thick. So, and it will be that. It will be giving you a double line. So, so can I put that? So all your drawing should be large now. Minimum of the drawing should be minimum of 10 centimeters. <clears throat> Even if the specimen is small like this, it doesn't mean you should draw it very tiny for botany, zoology, any biology drawing. You should have nothing less than 10 centimeters. So you can use your ruler to measure nothing less than 10 centimeters. And then when you use that, let's say what you are drawing is 2 centimeters now. And when you now draw, and what you have drawn is like 10 centimeters. So you have to put when you draw, you put the name of the drawing underneath, not above. Then you put um, magnification. Magnification is length of your, I, I will say like two or three different words, but it's the same thing. Length of your drawing over the length of your specimen. Or image height over object height. So let's say my drawing is 10 centimeters. What I was given is 2 centimeters. I just say 10 over 2. So that means what I've drawn is five times bigger than what I was given. Do you understand that? Yes. Please don't talk, don't talk so that you know this. I don't want to come back to what I've, I've said. I've said please. So that's how you do magnification for macro specimen. Especially you can see with your eyes. There are some specimens you will to see with your eyes, they are in the microscope. Those are not a micro. The other, first one is macro, what you can see. Micro, you cannot see it. So in this microscope, we have we have different parts. You should know that you know, yes. we have the eyepiece, we have the objective lens. Uh, yes. So I'll mention just those two for now. And we have the stage, we have light source. This is coarse adjustment now, fine adjustment now. Now, we have series of lens inside this that will magnify the image. So that means this one will be magnified by 10 times. Then we also have lenses inside, inside this um, objective lens that also magnify the image. So any objective lens that, that face your microscope, that face your specimen, you check. Now, if it is times 10, if it is yellow, red band in this microscope, I can't say for others, if it is red band, it's times 4, right in your book. Red band times four. You can see that the red is around it. Yellow band times ten. You will see it on it. See this red band, this yellow band, and this one is like blue blue band, not blue band magenta. There's blue color around it's like a band. Yellow band is times four. Red band is times four. Yellow band is times ten. Then the blue band is blue or green band is times 40. Then the one that looks like creamy or white is times 100. Those are the four objective lenses. So any one that you put directly under your specimen determines the one you use to get your magnification, like I have done here now. I have times 10 in my eyepiece and I have 
place is yeah and i have yellow band facing it so what's my magnification you must times 10. 10 times 10. 10 so you just said your eyepiece is times 10 objective lens is times 10 so magnification equals to what times 100 there is no unit for magnification do you understand yes sir please concentrate there's no unit for magnification it's just mag equals to times 100. Do you, do you understand how to get magnification for specimen that you can you see under the microscope? Yes. Do you understand that? Yes. If your specimen is under the microscope, you use magnification, you, you multiply them, you multiply the eyepiece by objective lens. Now, the eyepiece is times 10. Is, you can see it's 10 times. And the objective lens I'm using now, that is facing the slide, is times 10. So my magnification will be what? 10. Times 100. So let your mind be here. You, you, you know, you can be close to me and your mind is in Obalindi. I can be far from me and your mind is here. So let your mind be here. So that's how you do your magnification for... I told you, you and when you draw, you label the specimen. The label should not cross each other. So level to one side, level to the other. Let it not cross each other. So you must put my question. I've talked about that. So and your drawing, <coughs> your drawing should be proportionate to your specimen. Let's see. I don't want anybody to talk about this. Now, if I give you a specimen that is like this, your drawing should not be that. You now draw this, this neck. Let's say this is the neck of this. This is, this is called conical flask. So the neck of this conical flask is just like very small. Yes. You now go and do your own diagram. The neck is now long like this. You now draw the, the conical flask to be small. It's not proportional to your specimen. You understand? Don't draw cartoon drawing. I know some of you like watching, watching cartoons, so the cartoon, the head will be so big, the neck will be long, and the body will be small. So, let, make sure what you are drawing is proportionate to what you are given. You understand? Red mother marker. I'll just show something like that. Okay. Yes. That's right. Let me just show something. No, that some people will draw their own like this. It's not the same thing. So if you're drawing drums like this, you lose mark. This is correct. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It must be proportionate to what you are given. If, if the neck is long, give it long, long neck. If the neck is short, give it short. That's, for example, so. And the drawing should be clear. Don't use biro to draw. It's not allowed in biology. So your pencil should be well sharpened. It should be double line. So today we are going to be doing some. Before um, you start using the microscope, I'm going to teach you how to use microscope. I'm going to teach you how to use microscope. But let me just tell you what we're going to do. Then. I'll now teach you how to use my microscope and you will start. Because I won't be allowing you to come and be using it one by one. If you still have time, we will still allow you to do that all. But we want to start and do a lot of work because you have more time. So, if you are coming in, make sure you have signed your attendance. It's very important. If you send your score and you don't have attendance, you, you lose mark. And your mark is very important. It will be used for your to ask your CA for your exam is is real. Don't say they won't use it. Anything you do, just do it well. You can label to one side. You can label to one side. And you can label on both sides. I know you see your you can label on one side. Have you read who has read it? Ah, so you're coming for lab, you need to go through your manual. We just got it. So you can label, you can draw a diagram and label on one side. 
It depends on that's on living that so much. But it's not, it's not so much, you can draw a diagram and label on what size. It's okay, it's allowed. So I told you that it must not be less than 10 centimeters. And you, you, boost, you know how to do marcation for okay, fine. Because I can read your face. Maybe you're not following. Oh, that sister is pinching you. <laughs> so you're fine. Talking. You're fine. Then go the half pants. So now we're gonna be starting from page four or page page, what? page six. So kingdom for sister. The other um technologies will come and give you some other instructions. So let me just start with this. So you are gonna be given some specimen. So in, in page six we have we have uh Spirogyra, Iglina, other kingdom for sister. So we have Spirogyra, Iglina, and we also have most of <laughs> Now we also have, we have, we have um, Kotozoa, we have Aoge, and we have Honda. Honda, Honda specimen. So Honda, now I'm talking about the one that involves plants. So, so when the other technologies come to we'll be talking about the first one and animals, how we dealing with plants and plant life stuff. So, so I'll be giving you the spirogyra here, and then we're also going to give you an example of uh, fungi. Fungus is one, fungi is plural. So when you draw, so this page eight is for protozoa. So when another thing you do is when you are drawing, you must draw where this specimen is supposed to be drawn. On page eleven, the the root algae. You are going to be drawing protozoa where the root algae. You will not, you will miss mark because there will be different person that will be marking. Probably are marking both me, the plants part. And I mark both it finish and I give it to the man to mark zoology. And I only mark the, the both that I see in both this space, algae space. I will not mark it for you. The other man will not mark it for you. Because you draw it. If you saw that you are drawing Sarajara under where you're supposed to draw Amoeba, you will just can't switch. And I will not mark it too. So you lose mark. So let's so like all this photos are now. It's Amoeba um parameter we draw there and that is Eight. So that's not for me. So then on page eleven, you draw algae. And as an example of algae is spirogyra. So you draw algae there. I'll tell you about the, the, the length of the drawing. So, then you in this lab you do usually the drawings, labelings. I said you draw, you label, you put manifestation. You can get labelings from the book of the you draw, you label, you post modification. Those ones will give you map. I don't really like to do guide when I'm whenever I'm instructing, I like to use my marking guide to explain to you so that you don't get zero when where you are doing so. And then you're allowed to do the other aspects now, like drawing maybe 1.5 mark, then that means the diagram is 0.5 mark, label 0.5 mark. Like that, and the other one, then adding a little tie to the compartment. So if you don't do not do, if you don't do it correctly, you just lose mark. So if you start losing half half mark, at the end of the day, you will have lost so many things. So, so that's that. Then there are other questions you answer, but you, you answer that one. The theory parts, those parts that has a portion of label parts, you can do that one at all. You understand? But the specimen given to you, you must finish everything before you leave and draw them in your book. Because you're going to sign on your manual. You are signing on your manual. I don't see on the You sign on those pages for the signature. You understand? So all the all the writing parts, you do them later. But all the specimen given to you, you do it now. Any question, just raise your hand and ask me. I don't want you to be asking someone else. Yes. 
You are doing the first one now. See, are you going to take the microscope to your house to go and draw it at home? No. And you must not draw internet specimen, internet, internet specimen. Because we know this microscope we're using is a light microscope and it's binocular microscope. If you go online, you're going to draw from electron microscope and we know what is here and what is there. So that's how you miss math. So you have to do the right thing. So you can get labeling from there. So, so you write all those functions. Then the algae, all those functions, characteristics, and all those sorry parts, you do them later. You understand? So then let's move on. Fungi. We have spirogy. We are we're using um aspergillus as an example. And then when you have so many aspergillus, so many of them growing together like a bunch, it's called mycelium. But if you single one out to draw. It's called IFA, just one, but the group of them is mycelium. So, in this place where you have mycelium, just draw fungi specimen there. And the fungi is what? Aspergillus. The best thing is you are following me. I said to ask questions, you don't understand anything. So page 16, page 17, you draw aspergillus. You can use your pen to write something like that there. That's an example of yes. a fungi, aspergillus. Then so you draw those theory parts at home. I'm moving on page 20. You draw mushroom. Yes, we're going to give you the mushroom. You draw the mushroom. That, uh, it's also a fung, fung, it's a fungus, but it's a microscopic uh, fungus. And it's what you can see. At the beginning, when they were studying uh, mycology, and they studied fungi, when there was no microscope, it was mushroom they were studying, using to study. But when microscope came, they now have to be looking at what is microscopic. So, so mushroom is an example also of, of a fungus. <coughs> So then we have on um, I'm not on page 24. I told you the theory part to do it at home. And then anytime you are coming for lab, always go through your manual. That's why you are giving body to uh, when you go now, read everything. Have an idea before you come to the lab. You know, <laughs> now so mushroom you draw and you label. You understand? That's the 24. Do you know where you're drawing all those specimens I mentioned? Yes, yes, Page 24 is mushroom. No, page 20. No, page 20. Okay, now page 24, moss. Do you know moss? No. Those are the, when you see the wall of the house, this greenish thing that you see there. Yes. yes. That greenish thing you see there, they are, they are lower plants. We call them cryptogram. It's also a plant. It does leave. Yes. It has four stem and four root. They are not. It has stem and roots, fine, but they don't have vascular bondage. That is, they 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 don't have thick uh, uh, stem. They don't have xylem, phloem. They don't have vascular bondage. So, so they are lower plants. They are not that strong. They they live on the walls and or even on the ground. So, three twenty four. They are not they are not higher plants. Which are higher plants? <laughs> so they are on page 24. You do your mushroom, moss plant. Mushroom depends from moss plants. Do you understand? Moss plants is a bryophyte. Mushroom is a fungus. Do you understand? Moss, moss or moses or mosses. M-O-S-S-E-S. We have so many of them, but that's the example we have here. We have liver wars. We have only what, but it's most that we have an example of that. So let me give you an example of all those stuff here. They are asked first. Okay, one. But normally they do eat mushrooms. 
Yes, but it's mushroom. But there are two types of mushroom. We have poisonous and non poisonous. So you must know if it is poisonous or not. If you go and eat, no, it's uh, mushroom. Since you don't know if poisonous or not. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, if you rare chicken, just pick one of the chicken that is annoying you. <laughs> Feed your chicken. Is annoying. Let them eat the mushroom. Hmm? That is what so when they eat it and it's not dying, they can go ahead and eat it. <laughs> so that nobody will not die. They did not still eat it. I'm trying to explain everything we have here. So, as much as we can do today, we will do it today. Now, um, so sorry. Now, lower plants are called cryptogram, I told you. Mm. And then, higher plants are called phanerogram. P H A N E R O G A. Phanerogram. So, on lab six, I jump lab five because. We will not be doing lab five. We will not be, we will not be doing lab five on lab six. That's page thirty-nine. Yes, I have got a call panel. Please, do you have any questions? Just ask. I want us to, I want to round up this so that we can. But size like you oh, jump no, 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 lab four. four. Yes. Let's go to lab four. Sorry, you skip lab four. Lab four is a very, very unique, very important. Uh, they are called pseudophytes. They are the, they are the, they are the one between lower, uh, lower plant and higher plant because it's pseudophyte is the one that. It's the last one before we get to higher plants. It has many others, but still the lower plants. So, pteridophytes, you know, oh, another unique thing about them, they are, they are, they are non vascular plants. They too do not have xylem and phloem, even though they look a bit bigger. I'm going to show you an example here. A bit bigger, <laughs> but they are not the higher plants. Mm -hmm. So, they, they, Use different method of uh, the undergo automation of generation. They have they produce pores, and then I uh, was going to show you a specimen. An example of the is they are ferns, F E R N S. All those plants you see growing on your gutter, not like on the wall of the gutter, they are always they sometimes grow on the roof of your house. They are not the normal plants. Or they grow, they are called fence. They are not higher plants, they are still lower plants. So they grow, they are reproduced by using what we call a spore. But it's not all the time you see the spore. So we are giving you a specimen that has Sora. Sora is the reproductive part of the plant. I'll show you something like that. This is a fence. No, we have to bring this from. Let me not tell you. What you got? Can you see something like a dot around it? Now I'm going to draw something on the board so you can see what I'm trying to see. Ah. Hello, listen to me. Now. This, this fan, I thought it's a lower plant, it's a cryptogram, but it's the last plant that advanced to higher plant. Now, you see the midrib, fine, you see the line between, 
Now, if you check very well, you see a dot. Let me draw a bigger one. You see a dot. That dot you are seeing is the rocky part. It's very tiny. You need glasses to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'll just borrow my daddy's glasses. <laughs> so that dot is very, very important. So when you draw the when you draw the the fan, you will say fan with sorai. S O R I. That sorai is very important to me. If you don't put sorai, you get zero. Because that's important. that's what makes it to continue is to the next generation. And if you don't put that there, you have killed that ugly thing. It doesn't have next generation. That's the end of the other. So, S O R I. Sorai is a plural. Soros is singular. So, fan with sorai. Do you understand? Do you get that? Do you get that? Yes. Uh, that's response. what was drawing page 29. Yes, I was going to give you. So, this particular fan is called Drauteris. I'll give you the name. It's called Drauteris. And it's an example of a terrible fight. So, you draw on page 29, you draw, you label, you put magnification. Sometimes the specimen might be bigger than your book. Let's say my specimen is 25 centimeter in length and your drawing is 10 centimeter in length. So how do you get multiplication? I've explained before. How do you get multiplication? Eyepiece times. Mm -hmm. That is specimen on the microscope. Okay, okay, yeah. This Image. is a macro specimen. You can see it. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay, micro okay. specimen that you use eyepiece okay. times objective okay, length. Okay, okay, okay. Now, image height over okay. object, object height. height. Image is your drawing, your picture. Object is your specimen and you. You understand? Okay, so that you understand. So. My image height object, this is the object. Your drawing is image. So 10 over 25 centimeters. So you should we're gonna be getting fraction. It shows that all you are drawing is less than what you are given. Yes. What you are drawing is not as long, it's not as big as the specimen you are giving. Do you understand that? Yes. But if your specimen is small and your drawing is big. I, that shows that your drawing is bigger than your specimen. Do you all understand? Yes. Good. So let's round up. Let's go to you. So you know where to draw that on page. Okay. Sir, please, that formula of normal magnification is there no times 100? There is, but you don't use that times 100. Which one is the formula of my question? Which one are you talking You say image height over object height. Just I said my question does not have units. Okay. Image height, probably your drawing is 10 centimeter. And the specimen is 2 centimeter. 10 divided by 2, 5. That's just that it's bigger than what you are given. Okay. But looking at this one, it should be bigger than your drawing. So it should be fraction you get. 0.5 will be 0.4. So you we will know that all you are drawing is less than what we are give, we're giving you. So that's that. I will continue. Yes, sir. So we said we are living uh, at a five. So we'll go to six. Six, we have uh, dicot, foot, and stem. So we're going to give you some monocot and dicot. Now, higher plants, we have. Um, we have two types of higher plants now. We have gymnosperm and angiosperm. They are the higher plants. Now, most of the gymnosperm that we have now, they have gone into extinct. They have died. They are no more in existence. Most of the gymnosperm we have, they have died very in the soil and they have become, after many thousands of years, they have become crude oil for us in Nigeria. But in South Africa, we still have some gymnosperm. But in um, Nigeria, we still have one gymnosperm that I know. It's called Cycas. Yes, Cycas. C Y C A S. So we still have that. So most of gymnosperm have gone into extinct. That is, they are no more existing. So we have two types of gymnosperm. We have extant and extinct gymnosperm. The extant, I see the one 
alive like the psychers. So that we're not doing that fight. That but we're doing angel spam. Angel spam are, are the flowering plants, and it's very into two. We have monocots and dicots. So we're going to be checking the anatomy of the monocots and dicots. So we're going to check monocot leaf, monocot stem, and monocot root. They have been sectioned and check out the microscope. It's possible we still I do I still it's possible I still prescribe some of these things. But for today, just all we're given, you will still have class on Thursday and so on. You understand? So so we're going to draw that on page 41. We draw die cut root and die cut stem. Now you see it. Then on page, I told you answer another question later. On page 44. You can draw monocot to the monocot stem. Do you understand? Monocot to the monocot stem. Then the last one you are going to draw before the other technology come Maybe it's also on page. 38. Hope you are following. Yes, sir. Page 38, you draw monocot leaf and dicot leaf. 38, 38. Monocot leaf and dicot leaf. No. Page 38. Oh, yeah. Are you okay. following? Let okay. me say it again. Page 38, you draw monocot leaf and dicot leaf. Page 38. Anyone will provide there. That's why you draw it. Monocot leaf and dicot leaf. Page 41. Dicot root and dicot stem is the internal structure. Then you will give it. And on page 44, what are you going to draw? Monocot root and monocot stem. So, we're going to stop. I'm going to stop there. So, let me now explain to you how you bring the microscope to focus. I want to.